and we're back with part two of the Inner Circle Dallas season five reunion. All right, so let's just kind of pick up where we left off. Devin, I want to get to you. So, Nyoka, um, you kind of got your way back into the group through Nyoka. Why Nyoka? Why did you choose her to help you come back into the group? I mean, Na is, you know, she is very neutral to everybody in the, you know, in the group. She don't, you know, pick sides, you know, she lets you know how it is. So I, it was best for me to go with her because me and I never really felt out about nothing really, you know, mm -hmm. besides that, what I happened. And she was the only one that was helping me out. Me and Christina, we was definitely not seeing eye to eye. And like, when she had her attitude, I got one back. So it was just like, I was not talking to her. Darius, I really didn't care. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Chelsea, I don't even know why, but Chelsea, me and Chelsea never really talked, so. So some say, some comments were that after you got fired, you only started making amends to come and be back on the show. What do you have to say about that? Hmm. Now, why would I need to be on, you know, be on the show, like make amends when I wasn't talking to none of y'all for like six to seven months? I really didn't care. So then why but did you come back honestly, to Honestly, it was the friendships that I was missing. It was not the fact that, to be on the cameras because I knew Christina way before the cameras. So that had nothing to do with anything. Does anyone else feel like Devin's apologies or amends were sincere? Or do you feel like he did it to come back and be on in the show? I think it was both. I, I do think it was very convenient as far as the time frame goes because he was okay with not being my friend for quite some time. Um, but I think that he was also genuine because he really thought out what he, how he wanted to apologize to us and what he wanted to say. So I thought, I thought that was, uh, I thought it was genuine still. Darius, do you feel like it was genuine? I just, right now, I just kind of feel indifferent about Devin, to be perfectly honest with you, because okay. I I'm don't. Now. Take your personal opinion I'm out, though. I'm talking about then. Did you feel like it was genuine then? No, not really. <laughs> I do not. Well, why, why do you, and I ask why, because you told him you felt you accepted it and you felt like it was. So what changed your mind now? He got an attitude. Well, he got an attitude with me. Which one? And, and you have an attitude with me, my dear. So, uh, I mean, it goes both ways. So Wish, watch. I, if you don't care for me, I damn sure don't care for you. So it really doesn't well, matter at the end of the day. Well, I'm trying to figure out, like, so exactly I don't know. Question. I don't think you watch the show. I don't think you watch the same show as everybody. And I'm not watching you, so, okay. So we're moving well, I I want to know, know, know why now you feel like it wasn't sincere. Honestly, I just, I, I, I can't really say. He I just wanted like to start Chelsea. fresh. I wanted to start fresh with Devin, but Devin and I never really actually hung out with each other. Okay. Well, well I don't gonna, have We're going to get to that later because I have a comment about that. Okay. But my thing is this. Devin, I will say for me, your um, Bury the Hatchet was one of my favorite parts of the season. To me, I felt like you genuinely wanted to be around and, and, and make amends with these people. So I feel like it was definitely genuine. And I want to commend you for trying to come back and realize what you did um, and, and realize that you needed to grow and apologize to some people. Definitely. And you know, the Bear the Hatchet thing wasn't just for me. It was just for the whole cast so everybody can like bear whatever they had negativity with each other. Cause it's just like the times like this, especially like Corona and shit going on, people just dying left and right. We, you know, it's too, the life is too short to be petty over dumb shit. So. I was just doing that, you know, just for me as well, but just for everybody, because I feel like everybody needed a, a cleanse. Right. So let me ask you this, because prior to that, um, you did, you and Christina got into it. And I want to ask, do you feel like you did some of Christina's dirty work last season? Yeah, I just feel like, you know, with the Kiki and shit, it might have not been, you know, her like actually saying it, but, you know, just her laughing and just me just running around with it. I mean... It's just, I just feel like I just went ahead and just did everything, but it's just like, that was my fault. Can it you clarify like, on dirty work? I'm just saying, like, when we had met up with, you know, with Chelsea, and, well, not Chelsea, but with Nye, we was kicking and stuff, and, you know, we was dragging it on. I just felt like, you know, things like that, like, 
okay. But when it came out to play, like I was sitting here by myself at the end of the day. But Zachary, that was my whole fault. What? Can you clarify what you mean by my dirty work? Well, I feel like he's saying that you and you and him. No, no, no. I want to know what, what, what you mean by uh, my well, dirty work. Like he said, does he feel like he's ever maybe said something that you wanted to say or said something that you told him about someone else and he said it instead of it coming from you? That's never happened, though. Everybody on this show know that I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. And I say what I say. I don't tell you, well, I So I don't need anybody to do my dirty work, but I'm saying, like, when has that ever occurred? Why do you feel like that uh, you may have done my dinner work sometime? Well, I think his, his comment was he feels like the two of you brought it to Nyoka and he's only getting the slack for it. I brought it to Nyoka because that was my friend. His intention wasn't to bring it to Nyoka. His intention was to be messy with me about it. And he brought it to me as that that was the issue. And so I stated I needed to tell my friend because that's my friend. That's what friends do. But how did I don't want my friend to hear about it later and knowing that I knew about it. That's just like, that's why I had to correct that about everything that was being said about Darius, I mean, about Devin later. And they were saying that we knew. And I'm like, no, we learned on the same, at the same time, the world knew. Um, you know, we, we did the last reunion, that's when we found out. So you can't say that we knew about something. If I knew about it, I would have told them. So look, Devin, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you feel like you got all the backlash for bringing it to Nyoka. Yeah, because I just feel like at the end of the day, like nobody was, you know, in, you know, Christina face, you know, about Kiki. And it was all like, especially Chelsea. And she went right, you know, to, you know, blaming me for the situation, me talking about her granny panties and all that bullshit. But everybody, I felt like we was. <laughs> they blamed me at first too, until they found out that Nyoka addressed me about it. And so did Chelsea address me about the situation about both of us. It was initially both of us. And until I stated, I didn't know it was a lie. I backed you until I found out it was a lie. I didn't know that it was a lie. It was a lie. Okay. So let's let us let us kind of move on from there. You will. Um, Darius has said, Christina, that you were threatened by Chelsea. Is that the case? Or was that the case? Threatened. About what? What to be threatened by? I don't know, Darius. Why, why did you say she was threatened? Okay. Well, honestly, Chelsea, you know, being a new cast member of this series, she is actually matching, like, far as your style. She's matching uh, your persona. Like, she's a businesswoman just like you are. I kind of felt like you were kind of... Oh, that's funny because you said that me and Nayoko was beneath her. I'm sorry. Now she's matching me. First she said that she was, we're beneath her. We don't I match her. She was above us. And now it's, um, she matches me. Y'all, I never said that. But I was, what I'm saying is the fact that because Chelsea was out doing her thing, I kind of felt like maybe you What was she doing? Tad bit. I'm sorry. What, what was, was the thing? Doing? What was the thing? What was the thing she was doing? I would like to know. Did she not host the wine tasting that we did uh, last season? And that makes her a businesswoman? I mean, I would we say all host something. Woman, we but all I'm host just saying that, like, we, I've been here five seasons. I've hosted plenty this year. I think, it, I think it's justified that she ever turned. I guess you fucking Jeff Bezos by now, huh? You oh, just really? own her every fucking thing, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. To answer your question, Zachary, mm. I absolutely, um, I, I don't. I don't feel okay. like let me, let me Let me flip that, Christina. Do you feel like Darius gets threatened by new male cast members that come on the show? I'm sorry? <laughs> Do you feel like Darius gets threatened by new male cast members that come on the show? Um, I do, depending on the cast member. Yes, if they're already his friends, I don't think he's in, he has an issue. But if they're other people's friends, yes. I think that he does get a little intimidated. Like who? Um, Devin. <laughs> no, nah, I know you tripping because why every, you uh, not even just Devin. Devin. Let's 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 go some seasons. Devin didn't back. even really have any episodes on last. So who yeah, who so else did we have on the show that you had an issue with though? We we, okay. we had someone else that but you dated. Just, you remember the you dated only him. Thing that I had an issue was with when I invited him to my home. 
and he was disrespecting me and that's my life. That that's so we're gonna tell you. That's a lie, Darren. As soon as I got on that, that's why I feel like you haven't watched the same season. You had a problem because you felt like I was taking Christina away from you. When our friendship has nothing to do with y'all. That part. What? <laughs> You're not taking anybody anywhere. So it's but, like. But clearly. But that's what you said. What happened to us? You really did been on last this year. season. Or last season, for that matter. So why should clearly I be afraid of you on the weekend? Because you and your I really feel like that's why you get friends with Chelsea. Because I brought someone to the show. Okay. But that's the truth, though, friend. Okay, be honest. Well, Devin, the reason well, you're really mad is because I brought someone else to the show, and so you were in traffic with friends, friend, someone that's not truly your friend, and it didn't work out. Just say that. It's okay. Yeah, I don't give a fuck well, who the fuck you bring on this damn Devin, show. Devin, yes, I wanna, that. why do you feel like Darius had an issue with you from the beginning? Like, when Christina brought me on the show, like, as soon as I came on there, you side-eyeing, and then you was talking uh, shit about Christina really supposed to be your side -eyeing. When we actually had a conversation when we were out we at the mall. When the finish. fuck did I sign on you? Let him finish, Darius. Oh, And God. then the fact that uh, when me and him linked up, he was talking about his quote-unquote sister, Christina, and I had to check his ass about the situation. Like, from down there, after that, you was buddy up with everybody else, and you would talk shit about me, just like you and your tight-ass friend from Houston which that shiesty shit you did last year, and oh, then you want to come and be under my know. ass this year trying it, to be my friend. First and foremost, you talking about you don't who like in me? the fuck is going to be cash apping since you want to go ahead and bring up the situation? Who the fuck cash But yet you live with the producer, right? Uh, cash and you and his stuff, right? Five dollars, huh? three dollars. Bitch, what the fuck do you need this damn money for? But I mean, yeah, we all bitch, got you jobs over there working four or five So what the fuck do you need this phone? money for? And you still stay with the producer, bitch. You about thirty years old, being somebody's roommate. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Erkin nag me. Bitch, get the fuck out of my face. There's nothing wrong with all, being a all of that, baby. There's nothing wrong with being a roommate me. because at the end of the day, I'm still earning my coins. Okay, are so you? Like, so I have a bank account. I have a savings account. So we I don't have that. In my account, okay? Who doesn't I'm not have the that? one requesting cash. Bitch, I got made from other cash mates. Let's be real. Let's be real, okay? So I pay my taxes. Me so living with a roommate about. is not a problem. A lot of people live with roommates. I really hope so. you never fall on hard times. No, I really hope you don't because I one thing about karma, that bitch don't miss. You guys, I actually she don't fall on hard times. I had debt that, that I had but but can you genuinely I admit the fact there is I had payments on rent there is so I'm not there is there is can you truly admit that that was wrong what was because wrong I'm sure now I'm sure now you got the message I got the message you got the message but nobody I didn't I didn't tell nobody until Zach I did not tell Nyoka Nyoka didn't tell me Zach didn't tell nobody discussed that but you. So yeah. you, 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 I felt like you was reaching to find something bad about him or something to talk about him for just because he was Because crazy. I think that's, that's dumb as fuck. That's but for you to fuck. have no reason to be I'm mad sorry. at him. For you to be an adult, for you to be a male adult at that. But you a male adult. Everybody falls on hard times. Everybody falls on hard times. I'm sorry. Especially if you don't even know us. You don't even know me. So why No, bitch, I don't know you. I know me. the rest of them. You but you, you cashed out me. Okay, because I thought we were oh, okay. friends. Okay. That's not the point. I'm asking you, do you feel like that was wrong? It doesn't matter how long he knew you. It's me, people standing outside on the street out there that he was uh, with a sign that, 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 that we don't know that we give money to. So does it and the question is, are do you feel like you're wrong? Because you are wrong, but do you feel like you're wrong? I do not feel like I was wrong. I didn't think you did. Yeah, like, and, and there you have it. There you have it. Okay, but my thing is this: Why sit there and act like this for the new season? You wanted to be buddy buddy all in my face, and you, you know, you, you were we really don't buddy like buddy me. anyway you to begin with. Well, but that was because of you, though, right, Darius? Right, 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 shit with your ass. I motherfucking checked up on you when you had your car accident as well, bitch. So don't try to like I was just out here trying to attack you, cause bitch, I don't want your life at all, baby. Darius, let me let me ask you this: You old and tired. Let's get that clear, okay? 
No, no. If I was old and tired, I wouldn't be on this season for five. They, they need a full on the show all tomorrow. the time. You just made it to the. They need the a jackass. Season. For each this is your season, second bitch. round. You just got here, so you need to tread lightly. For what? So I'm waiting to see what episodes you have to bring out in the season, because last season you had nothing. This season you had nothing, and you got fired. So what are you gonna bring for next season? Oh, uh, when you when you there? After, I'm, I'm waiting. Baby, nothing? I'm not worried oh, about none of that. So why bother okay. continue okay, let's, to be on a show where you have nothing going on? Darius, what did you have to talk about but be under these bitches' faces? You don't have no life, baby. Your nigga Are you don't sure work about that? You, you work you don't 14 know my life jobs. You look old as You dress like a little ass You don't hang around like and this. see don't do it. my life don't like Don't do it, bitch. So okay. you need to shut okay. up because you don't know what the fuck you're talking now, about. Now, now, girls. Oh, Darius. You're both pretty. Darius. Okay. Let's he old as hell. Stop lying to that man, that Benjamin bloody looking motherfucker. Okay, let, let's move on. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Let's, Ooh, let's, yeah. not let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Everybody take a breather and let's just kind of move on. All right. So, um, Devin, do you feel like, or did you feel like, being someone who may not be on any on everyone else's level, do you feel like maybe the cast members kind of looked down on you or um, kind of didn't give you the same kind of respect as everyone else? No, I didn't feel that. I just feel like maybe he's irrelevant. I don't got time for him. But like, I didn't feel like nobody. The question. Go ahead. I didn't feel like nobody looked down upon me. I feel like since I was the younger cast, they they were gonna show me my way and show me how to be you know, be a better person in life and show me how to hustle because all these females on here, they got different, you know, hustles. Even Darius got his hustles, working his three jobs. You know, it shows me how to hustle. So it's just like, I commend everybody because I, they could have just, you know, okay, Christina could have brought me on the show and just had that one episode and that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they took me to different events. I got to see different things. So, you know, that's what helped me this season. And I'm able to, you know, stand on my own. I have my own place, you know, mm -hmm. and things is working fine. Okay, that's okay. good for you guys. So well, that's let, right. let me let me ask you this, um, Christina. I, I, some people may say that you make me feel entitled on the show, and that you say that you can never be replaced. Um, what do you say to those people? Why do you feel like you cannot be replaced? That is the truth. That is the truth. Okay. So I just feel like that. I don't feel like. I can be replaced, but you know what? I I contribute. I bring something to the show mm -hmm. that I feel like, and I feel like everybody should feel that way though. I feel like if if you're bringing something to anything, and if that's including a job, uh, a business, whatever you're bringing to that, you should feel like nobody else can bring what you bring. Period. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't feel that way, you have some insecurities that you probably need to work on before you can ever become genuinely you. No. But I know who I am. So I know what I bring. I know my value. And that includes relationships, anything. I feel like no one can bring me. And that's it. Okay. You hey. can't be me. There's not another me. There's no duplicate me. There's no repeating of me. There's there's not another Christine. No. Nyoka, do you think <laughs> Nyoka, do you think we saw a different side of you this season? Or is this a side that has always been there? Of course, this side has always been there. I, it's in you. Baby, I'm from New Orleans, okay? I, <laughs> I don't know how many times I gotta say that. I don't want to bring out that side. I, my energy has to always be protected. Even in the midst of, you know, people trying to bring me out of my character, I'm always gonna work on protecting my energy. And last season, everybody, oh, everybody like, oh, you nice, you this and that. No, bitch, I don't give a fuck enough to come out of my character. But when you cross Again, that boundary, nice. like it has been this season with two individuals, then you're going to see this side of me. I didn't even want to bring that bitch out. I keep that bitch in a box. It's deep just in the ocean. You know shit, what I'm saying? Now this shit, bitch got to come shit. out, and now you're looking at me crazy. So do you, so looking back on yourself this season, do you feel like this was a bad season for you? No. No? No. I feel like it was a good season and showed me who people truly were. And I'm gonna always find the silver lining in everything because I don't lose, bitch. I learn lessons. I don't lose nothing. You hoes could never. I'm untouchable. My name is Nyoka. Could you have found the silver lining with me 
when I made that comment then, since she said you you can find the silver lining on everything. Yeah, the silver lining. Like, I actually tried to bitch. apologize to you, and you completely just shut me out. <laughs> and I tried several times trying to apologize to you, and you turned me down every time I tried to apologize to you. So you don't think that we could go past this pettiness of you believing in your mind that I think that you're below Chelsea? Or not until you become genuine about it. About it. No, like, I don't think why I, don't, are you I can't, trying to I can't go past it either. Be natural. That is why, and I keep explaining it to you, that is why we continue to have friendship issues because you continue to want to overpass, like like bypass everything that you've done, like it's not anything you need to it's get over. Bypass, I just apologize about it. Even I, though you're not correcting really anything that you do, you're shit. saying it, but you don't mean it. And At you all. don't correct it. You keep That's doing cool. it. That's so cool. you can't become a habitual liar. And what you do That's and then okay. think that somebody is supposed to be steady forgiving or supposed to accept you every time when it's not genuine. Like I we said, De Devin's, Devin's apology was genuine. He thought out his apology. He actually it was heartfelt. Even as mad as I wanted to be, the apology was genuine. Okay. But when you apologize, it's just like, okay, bitch, I'm apologizing and get over it. Bitch, take what? this. Like, what? You just gonna fuck me with no Vaseline? That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt hard. <laughs> <her. laughs> So, Devin, I want to ask you a question. You said that you felt like the group owed you an apology. What did they owe you an apology for? I damn sure don't owe him an apology. Hey, man, you definitely. I want to hear this. To owe, you owe everybody a couple of apologies. With your I damn sure man. don't have but, to owe you a fucking thing. Oh, that's the problem now. You so combative and mad, baby. Why are you 30? But why y'all combative? The question was, why do you feel like I, I the cast owe you an apology? Yes, that's the way I feel like I need an apology because everybody do dumb shit and act the fool and do what they want to do and, and pick and do all that shit. And I, you know, I lie to the whole cast. But and you act out and throw tantrums in other people's houses. And we up here uh, doors of Dallas and Frisco. You're upset about that. And you're acting out in other people's and it was, houses. I could have sworn that's not even them. your house. Can you let it in my house? Can you let it in my house? It's in my name. Anywho. It's in my name, sweetheart. Is it in your name? It is. Zach, is it his name? You, but there is, you, wasn't you cutting up at the hotel? Zach, is it his, his name, name is on the lease. Let's not and talk about that. First and foremost, that was the hotel. That was not your house. But you Monica. have no home training. That That's what I'm getting at. House. You have no home training, sweetie. That was a hotel. Baby, because you, you wouldn't have to do that in mind, baby. Trust me, believe that. Can you can you finish answering the question, please? Uh, I just feel like what they just made me feel like a black sheep and I was just cast out. Oh, and I just feel like I need an apology because I was being talked about as well about the mm -hmm. whole cash app thing as I was told, quote unquote. No, but that's not what happened, friend, because I did not talk about you, neither did I. That's, so that's not the truth. That's what I, I have no problem saying. If I said something, I said just what the fuck I said and Nioka is the same person. So you ought to know by now, if we were talking about you, we would have repeated that shit because we don't give a fuck. That's the truth. Repeat. I never said anything. We were just as stunned and surprised we even whispered to each other if you watch the show. Because we were stunned to hear that even being brought up because we didn't even know that you had even sent it to nobody else. We didn't know. No, I, I, so that I, I conversation hear. was had between two people that didn't have with nobody else. We didn't know that. Okay, so I'm I not going to sit here and lie so I knew that because if I did know that, I would have told you. I would have that. I hear you. I, I believe you. Thank you so much. I believe you with that one, Christina. So let me ask you this. Um, we're going to move on. Darius, what made you want to um, reach out to Devin? I know you're not cool or whatever now, but what made you want to reach out to him to try to make uh, I thought that when he came back to the, to the season, that perhaps I should try to give him an opportunity to get to know him. Um, unfortunately, we didn't really do anything together to hang out with each other. So, I mean, at that moment when we were talking, um, you know, I just wanted to 
you know, since he invited us to the whole axe, I'm not the axe one event, but the, the Bury the Hatchet event, and, you know, he wanted to apologize to the group, I felt like, let's just go ahead and just start with the clean slate. I approached him, and I wanted to start off clean with Devin. At the end of the day, still, no apology from him, from my dinner event that I invited him. That's, that's, he never apologized to me, that's not but just, me being a bigger person, he did apologize. I went to him and we talked about it. And I wanted to try to create a friendship with him. It's but delusional. after okay. today, after today, I don't think that he and I can be friends. He did apologize though. You're delusional. But there is he did apologize. He apologized so, when y'all met up. I I don't see. I that. swear he ain't. He didn't watch the Inner Circle Dallas back. I don't he see. He has to be watching some other. He shit. He watched I the Inner Something, but it wasn't Circle. Cause we sat there and have a whole lunch and we both hashed it out. And this was before the whole mm -hmm. going to the hotel and you know linking it up with the piece and hit and you know talking to the girls and whole time time. You was on some fake shit. My thing is this: if Nyoka would have never brought it to the attention at that party that you was the one that cashed at, uh, you sent that information to London. Was you ever gonna tell me, or you were just gonna let this friendship just build? Well, well, that's, that's a, it's a good question, Darius. Had Nyoka not brought it up, were you ever going to tell him? He said, what friendship? I was. When? When were you going to tell him? Eventually, once I kind of got to know Devin a little hey. bit more better. But how can hey. you get to know somebody when you Nyoka, are trying please. to... When you're we trying to... We got a big-ass secret, Mary. How you, you going to you get are to know trying to, You trying to destroy someone's character just based off of having a hard How is that destroying someone's how character do, based off of the action? How is that not? You're, you're, de you're defacing his character right now by trying to make him seem like he's a bone by asking for help. I, That's what you... That is you exactly what you're doing. I, and the I reason I didn't say whatsoever. anything and the reason I opened it so, say anything, the reason Zachary didn't say anything, because we all know we've all been in a place in our life at a time in our life. Serious. We've all been in a place so in time in our life right where now? we didn't oh, have everything right. that That's we needed. We needed That's help. Why I need to leave. I need to leave because I ain't got something. You said you was leaving this. You was leaving when you sent that text. You were at home. And I, I was. And I was. And I was. So but I you think did because your home girl just to make it official and, and just drop out of the thing. You want to be under everybody else's so 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 eyes. Goodbye. Good night. You're tired. Why do you feel like? Why do you feel like you want to? leave instead of hearing God because he does not like to face his his errors of his way i'm saying he don't like to admit his fault he don't like to own up to his shit he don't like to be a man every season i have been on i've always been made to be this this nobody's making anything you think that's every season for a reason friend we've had different people on each season are you trying to tell me that everybody that we've had and we've exchanged on every season except one so for four seasons we've had different people on this fucking show and you trying to sit here and tell me that everybody is at you everybody has she's at me Devin is at me. Babe, I'm not at you. I'm not even worried about you. Me. But I'm not at you. Taylor I am trying me. to talk to you like a human being. I'm trying to talk to you like an adult so that you can see the error on your way so that you can change. I've yelled at you before. I've cussed at you before. I've tried to fight. It didn't work. So I'm thinking that talking to you like an intelligent person is going to work and you still seem to let it go wash down your motherfucking back like shower. Does. Okay. So we're going to break for a minute and we'll come back with the final moments of the reunion. The wings was hidden. That was <laughs> especially when they first came back with that hot sub. Bye bye. I'm gonna charge my little old my old man up because he ain't seen Shit, right now I need a blunt. Oh, we record? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is that guy. <laughs> All right, and we're back with the final moment of the Inner Circle Dallas season five reunion. All right, so now that we took a break from it being a little bit heated, um, I do want to talk about um, kind of some of the major things that happened. I know we touched on the cash up situation, um, but Devin, I want to hear from you. I know that there has been a lot of talk about the situation. I want to gather from you, why did you feel comfortable enough to be able to reach out to your cast members? Well, when it came to Christina, I just felt like I could. And I was just like, shit, I just, you know, 
I'm cool with her. They should be cool with me. So I just sent the little mask thing out on Cash Up. That was the only thing. But it was nothing too big because, I mean, a bitch wasn't, you know, dying. And, you know, it is what it is. If they didn't send it to me, it just show me where I had to, you know, grind harder to do what I need to do. Right. So, Nyoka, you and Christina actually said that Darius had told y'all about it beforehand. So I want to know, why did you wait so long to bring the situation to life? I feel like when it was about Darius, time. Darius told us the day of. Well, I know, but I want to ask Nyoka why she waited so long to bring it up. I just feel like it's about timing. Um, I picked the right time to say what I had to say. And I feel like we should normalize that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't, mm. it don't matter when I found out. It's, all, it's a time and place for everything. And I felt like if we doing an honest tea, whatever I re- I think it was at the sleepover, we talked about it, but shit got to be brought to light. And I thank Niall yeah. for, you know, sharing that information. Because my thing is this, if you like, it was never put out on the table, like, and we became friends, like, how much of my information was you going to hold against me or you was going to use that if we fell out? You know what I'm saying? Like, Period. what was your real intentions on being friends with me if you didn't even tell me you was the reason that a big part of something that happened in my life, you know, last year, and you was the ringleader. You didn't even open your mouth to even say that. My I didn't know you. Is you can't even admit that when you're wrong or if you do something fucked up, you you can't say nothing. You sit there and you that. and you walk around the situation, or you drive around the corner, or you want to go up the hill from the situation, but you never address it. And then you expect somebody to sit there and accept your apology or try to be your friend, and you forget about the situation when you really was out here trying to belittle me, and you don't even know me. So did Devin, you know me? So Darius, you said you didn't know Devin, which I did not. Okay. So why did, if you didn't know him, then why did you go the extra step to try to expose him? I just kind of felt a little uncomfortable about the whole situation because for one, this has never happened with any of my friends, you know, that I know um, where they're requesting for money. Now, if they did, they would actually personally come and reach me. They have my number. They, they know where I live. And if they wanted to talk about that kind of situation, they could be able to do that personally. So um, I just thought it was very strange. And um, not knowing Devin, I kind of felt like it just needed to be known. So maybe the way that I did it probably may have not been the best way, but it still needed to be known amongst the rest of the castmates. But would that, but would that not be more of a reason to go to him personally and not air it out for the world? Again, I don't know him. So my thing is, why would I go to a complete stranger that I don't know and talk about something so well, funny? Because you're a human being. Stranger to other strangers. Make it make sense, Darius. You went to you other strangers with stranger information. It makes sense. Because like you and him are not even real friends. Data. So you he went to somebody data. else who is not your real friend to discuss something London about somebody who is not your I friend. It don't make sense like she Jeff. said. Make it make sense. More than if so, that. even if it's a stranger, a, a rank stranger, a dog deserve more than what you gave him. That's all I'm saying. Like you literally, you did belittle him as a human being. It takes a okay. lot for somebody to come come to someone, anyone, whether they be their friend or, or not their friend at all. All I can say, say is I need Devin. Help. All I can say is Devin, just be ready. That's all I can say. Be ready. Ready for what? For what? Ready for this. Ready for me. So do you feel like you owe him an apology? No, I don't. When you was 23, 24 years old, bitch, you was struggling. You was not living this I admitted high that earlier. Bitch, you was just struggling a few years ago. We were trying to... I admitted that I was. Okay, so how you going to talk about this young boy you're like 20-some years old? reached out through Cash App to ask other people for money. Because Cash App not have been Cash App. that age, bitch. But if Cash App wasn't around. So as an adult, what did I do? I went out and got another job. I also went out and I took out loans, and then I paid those loans when I actually had the time to do so. So I handled it the adult way. Well, there well is bitch, I'm there. not going to go into no dick to take out no loans, and bitch, I, have I don't a great do that, sir. I have a great job. I don't, do I don't that, have sir. to work three or four jobs like you're doing, breaking your back to make ends meet. Know that, honey. And just like that little situation that happened to me, that I went ahead and shined the powder there, as you can see. Right now to make I, I lost the powder. I'm quite situation. financially stable. Thank you very much. Well, Darius, for, as someone who's been in that situation, do you not have compassion for... Why would I have a compassion for someone who's not my friend? What? That's 
what humans do. That's what you do as a human being. You have compassion. I don't know. Yeah, y'all want to have compassion. Have, I, 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 this, this, this whole season. Like I said, you treat a dog better than you treated him that day. A dog. Okay. There's a. Let me. Ask Dogs you are more loyal. Well, bitch, I don't have to be loyal. How you gonna know if he's loyal or not even if you're not friends? Right. Make well, it make sense, Darius. Let's make it make sense, Devin. You want me to be loyal to you, but we're not friends. You I'm don't have to be that. loyal to me for a fucking thing. We you don't just have said to that. be friends. I just said that several times already. So what part of that do you not register in your brain? So we don't have to be friends. You don't have to well, have baby, my I was you you don't have to have my Let's just keep the shit moving. There is. Anyways. Okay, so anyways. There is. Do is you... he going to leave the show or what? Like he was supposed to. In that dry ass text he sent. I, maybe I will. There is. That's none of your fucking business. There is. Do you you just worry me? about making sure that you stay employed. <laughs> well, bitch, I am. I'm doing quite fine. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, because you did get fired from but, season once. But he was so in. You just time. make sure that you stay employed. Make sure that you stay on Baby, this I hope you don't exactly. think this is the only so that way you I can make remain money. to stay on this season, on this series. So. You the show don't have the show there don't stop my flow and my okay. hustle for baby. Darius, I have a question for you. Do you feel Nyoka only brought the situation up because you and her are not friends anymore? I personally feel like she did. Because, like, why would you do that when the vibe, the energy already when we were at the sleepover was actually positive? It was in a good mood. Like, like, why would you try to bring something as major as that into something when we're all having a moment where we're just reconciling and trying to enjoy the moment. It was a good moment. So you over here trying to, you know, be negative and just try to make something to, to seem a lot worse than what it was. So I, I didn't appreciate that from her at all whatsoever. I mean, she was coming for me, coming for me, coming for me. When you come for me, Yes, best believe I'm gonna be coming back for your ass ten times four. You ain't go but nobody. You ain't go too far. You ain't go okay. too far. It wasn't ten times four. Nyoka, what will it take? Nyoka, what will it take for you and Darius to get back to the number before? Nothing. I, he just needs to stop being fake. That's fine. He gotta stop being fake. The reason why I brought that shit up, we have to but I cannot hard. stomach fake shit. That's why I don't fuck with Chelsea. She a fake ass bitch. And if you, you want to get in my good graces, you need to own up to your shit, bitch. Go to therapy. Talk to somebody. Talk to God, bitch. Release all that negative fake ass shit inside of you that you try to cover up like you some type of good guy, bitch, because you're not. You be acting so fake. And I can't deal with that shit. It makes me want to... I'm not going to fucking throw up. That's what it makes me want to do. The restroom is right around the corner. Don't get lost, sweetheart. So, Devin, what was your reaction when you called London? What was your reaction when he told you that basically everyone knew about this and kept it from you? Like, I was like, really lost, but kind of irritated because I'm just like, like, I really don't like his ass either. So I'm just like, people are just going to tell my business to other motherfuckers that just, it's just, I was just, just like, the fuck, I'm just, just over the whole group at, at that point. But talking to Christina and talking to Nyoka, you know, they are generally, I can see where they didn't have no parts of that. And then, you know, there's, you know, making it very clear and point back and clear that, you know, we wasn't friends and he didn't owe no loyalty to me and he didn't know me. So he felt like it was okay to tell my business. So therefore, I have nothing to say to him. Like, do you, think, do you think you and Darius would ever get to a point to where now that all this has been brought out, you know this, he knows whatever. Do you think y'all can get to a point where y'all can actually be friends no because i definitely don't have you know haters as friends or people who try to <laughs> who try to take take people down for no reason like that just doesn't make no sense when clearly as you look at those seasons mm -hmm. as he was coming up and growing up baby he was fucking tired and still tired i'm surprised he's still surviving now mm -hmm. so christina and nyoka what was your reaction when you saw that London told Devin that all of y'all had a sit down and laughed about the situation, and specifically you, Christina, when he said that this would give Devin a reason to be on the next season. He a liar. Point blank. You can't even take nothing he says serious. So I just laughed at it. Like, he's a liar. I did. I felt like 
the thing is, what people don't know is that I actually have a relationship with him outside of here, even though we've kind of fallen out recently because he doesn't like the fact that that his show is trash and that it didn't work. And yeah, now they're trying to come back. So he was very, uh, he felt some type of way that I would always make, make a comment about his show. Um, but at the end of the day, if you're not interesting, you just not that interesting. <laughs> so, did it is. You, so did you say what London said you said? What? What was that? That, that Devin, um, that this gave Devin a reason to be on season five for his cash. No, I never said that. Not only did I never say that, I didn't know about any of it until the day of, that we were shooting. He advised us the day that we were shooting that he was going to state that. So that wasn't something that we knew was going to happen. We didn't even know that each other knew. We never had a meeting. Let's make it very clear. We never had a meeting and Kiki never went to lunch over Devin. We never, that never occurred. So he's been a habitual liar, compulsive liar, and he's still that person. Okay. Well, speaking of that, as you know, the Houston, Inner Circle Houston is coming back. Um, November. Is it coming back? So, yes, it is coming back. <laughs> the trailer was released recently. I don't know if anyone. Oh. So what is what is what is the rivalry between Dallas and Houston? There's no rivalry. Nothing. Yeah, there's no I would agree. Uh, is no Junior. We're not gonna do that. There's no rivalry because there's no competition where you cannot compete. True. True. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no rivalry because they want to be <laughs> so I mean that's the that's the God's honest truth. There's not another again, when you know what you bring to the table, there's no competition. All I see what money back say, all I see is me. I don't see no competition. That's it. And you know, shit, I man. never even heard of the group until to the, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So shit happened. Houston what? I ain't I never heard of them until a couple of weeks ago. I want to wrap up the final moments and I want to talk to each cast member. I want you to give me a good thing about this season and a bad and something that you regret this season. Uh, Devin, I'll start with you. Um, good thing about it. Well, it's kind of like two, you know, the Barry and Hatchet scene and then also Nyoka bringing me that tea that I needed. Just shook up the table, you know, boiled it right on over the stuff I like. And one thing I hate is actually trying to reach out and try to be friends with Darius. Christina. Thank you. Read the question. Uh, what is something that you liked about this season and something that you regret about this season? Um, I really regret that we lost just <laughs> right when I became her friend. Um, and something I really liked about this season. Damn, bitch, nothing. <laughs> oh, just that Devin apologized. I really like that. Very that. I thought that was a good idea. I thought that was very genuine. Again, that's really it that I liked about this season. Because a lot about this season was just like a lot of negativity. Besides that, that was the most positive moment I feel like that we had in the season. And right now, the new me, you know, thirty-three and things. Um, I feel like this. I'm, I'm very positive right now, so I'm really feeling like positive energy. And I feel like a lot of this season was about bringing not just, you know, women down, um, because I think that as women, we did lose a point or two, you know, I didn't feel like we brought it up a notch with the situation that went on. So I don't, I don't, I didn't like that part, but um, I feel like as a team, we were very negative um, as a unit this season. So, um, yeah. That was the most positive part about this season. Okay, okay. What about you? Mm -hmm. What about you? What is something you like this season and something you regret this season? Oh, um, something I like. We lost Chelsea, so that's great. Um, what else do I like? I like that I was able to see people true colors. And I like that people was able to see not just one side of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, if somebody's going to always be nice if you... If you respect me, I'm gonna respect you. But once you cross that boundary, now I have to show you another side of me. So I do like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people gotta see another side of you. What I don't like is showing another side of me. 
You know what I'm saying? I want to always keep it cool and protect my energy and not jump out of my character. So I would say that's what I didn't like this season. Just being out of my I character. think that all people need to like see your all sides of you to genuinely love you. I feel like you can't genuinely love me if you don't know every piece of me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and, you that, can't and that's love something that happens you. over time, though. People see sides yeah. of you over time. But what people yeah. do is they see a side of you and then they base their perspective off of that side. Oh, that side. And that's how they treat you that's from that point on. Bitch, you gotta, you, it takes time to, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a nigga. That's why bitches be having so many baby daddies and this and that. You bitches are poor at making decisions because you base the shit off of one perspective, one side. I'm a multifaceted being. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Me too. Period. Um, Harris, what about you? One thing that I can say that I did like about the season was when Christina came over and she you know reached out to me and she wanted to make sure that i was okay for my car rig and when i talked about my my breakup with my ex um i really appreciated her for being there for me to give me that support um what i don't what i regret honestly is me reaching out to Devin and trying to <laughs> create a clean slate with him <laughs> because honestly right now I don't even feel like he and I can ever really be friends so I agree with him 100% so perhaps you know we, we may not actually establish a friendship and I'm quite alright with that okay so does anyone feel like they who was the MVP of the season now you can't say yourself pick someone else <laughs> No, I said, what you mean, MVP in what sense? Like, like, like who? Because I'm MVP? always the MVP. Like, maybe somebody that grew the most this season or somebody who I, I would say Devin. Devin. I would say Devin is my MVP. Devin's definitely my MVP. Darius. Darius. I don't have one. He gonna pick Chelsea. <laughs> 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 So, of course, you know, this is the time where I always ask at the end of each season, who would think about coming back, who would return, and what would it take for you to come back? So, Devin, would you return for season six? Yes. Darius? I'm on the fence right now. I'm not really sure if I want to come back or not, but yeah, if we get off the fence, I'm going to come back. You ain't got shit else to do. Okay, oh, dang. Christina? I'm coming back. <laughs> <Not your girl. laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> okay, and that's on period. <laughs> and that's on period, because they're going to miss us anyway, friend. It's all right. Heavy. Give me the All right, well, that wraps up the season five reunion for the Inner Circle Dallas. Um, we will see you in season six. Woo! Peace. <laughs>